But like, how can they do this to us? That's because they don't care about you. So amazing. Everyone, please welcome to the show, Ty Smith. <laughs> What is really on Pokeos and Pokeramas? I am Ty Smith, Modern Renaissance Man. Welcome to my channel, Modern Renaissance Man. If you or someone has been subscribed to my channel for a long time, double check to make sure that you are. But if you are fairly new to the channel, get an idea of what this channel is about. What do you do? Go to my channel, click on playlist. All these different things I do on this channel. See all these different thumbnails? Those are all different categories of things that I do on this channel. From comedy to cooking to DIY when it comes to fixing cars. There's a lot of things I do on this channel. So check the channel out in its entirety before you subscribe. I'm pretty sure you'll find something on here that you like. What's going on, folks? Folk Ramos. Welcome to the channel. I already gave you an intro, so I don't need to give you no more. Follow me up here, over there, right there, and right here. I'm also on Twitter as the Real Ty Smith, and I'm also on another YouTube channel called Man, Husband, Father. And then there's another channel that's kind of off to the side. I just post memes there, you know, shorts called Meme Stream Media. Go check it out over there. All right, folks. So yeah, buddy, it's going some virtue signaling because Biden is trying to do everything he can to try to impress people and try to get his little campaign momentum going a little bit. He went over to TikTok and tried to post a video. I ain't even go over there and look because you know that this is some ditch effort stuff they're trying to do. The report came out from her, H-U-R, that's what I mean. Her is the person who gave a report saying that Biden pretty much is, yeah, cuckoo. We all knew that. But anyway, my thing is this. This is some sad stuff right here. Biden went to try to go, well, he didn't try. He actually did go and visit it. East Palestine where they had a huge train derailment that spewed poisons into the air, into the water, and people are having a whole bunch of medical complications there, but it's going under the radar. Why? Mainstream media is not going to report it. Point being is that when it happened, guess who did show up there? Donald Trump did. President Biden, well, his press secretary, Karine Jean-Pierre, claimed that he was going to go and visit there, but he didn't. It's been since a, it's been a year. A full year. Now Biden want to try to kind of go there and visit them. And the residents did not take well to it at all. And I guarantee you, a lot of the mainstream media is not going to show you this. Let's go, Brandon! Let's go, Brandon! Let's go, Brandon! Let's go, Brandon! That's the message, That's the message to Biden right there. Too little, too late. How are you guys doing? There you go, guys. Out here in East Palestine, this is uh, Joe Biden finally showing up more than a year later. And that's the message. Real simple. Too little, too late. Joe, too little, too late. All right, Mike, why is everyone out here? This is Trump country here. This is nothing but a political stunt. Mike Rooley says he's going to be our next congressman. This town needs 250 to 300. $300 million. Our slogan is too little too late, Mr. Biden. Yeah. This Real town, simple. yeah. You don't see any support in this town for Mr. Biden. Yeah. You say Mr. Biden. Yeah, Mr. Biden. That's it. Mr. Biden. Yeah. God bless you guys. God bless yeah. you too as well. Good to see you. Good to see Let you. me see those ones. Hold them up. There you go. Resident, not president. Don't sniff me, Joe. Don't sniff me, Joe. I love it. Latino for Trump. Puerto Rican. I love it. God bless you. Good morning, everyone. President Biden is expected here in the next few hours. I'm in East Palestine, Ohio. And it's been a year since I've been here, since that horrific train derailment that turned this beautiful town upside down. And I got to tell you, people are not happy. They feel that they've been abandoned by the administration. They don't understand why President Biden is coming now a year later. It's been a year and they're upset. Uh, you're on video. Is it good? <laughs> you know what time Biden's going to be here? Uh, no, that's what we're waiting to hear. I will okay. let y'all know as soon as I find out. All right. How do you feel about Biden being here? I think that he's coming too late. He should have been here a year ago instead of going over Ukraine and helping them. Help American citizens first. Thank you, all for coming. On behalf of the village of East Palestine, I, would, I want to welcome President Biden. 
As we pass the, one, the first anniversary of the trail and der, train derailment, the Village of East Palestine appreciates the support from the US EPA, the Department of Transportation. We'd also like to thank Governor Mike DeWine, the Ohio EPA, the Ohio EMA, and the Department of Public Safety. Mr. President, any, any press, message press, to residents who question why it took a year? It's time to leave. Any message to residents who question why it took a year? And you just heard that. What was your reaction to Joe Biden and the EPA basically cheering themselves, giving themselves a pat on the back? We're never going to get help. We're never going to get help. Like, how can they turn a blind eye when our kids are still having unexplained nosebleeds, when they're starting to have seizures, when we have to tuck kids into beds in homes that haven't been tested? We're citizens. We're not politics. We're people. Like, how can they do this to us? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's the sentiment. Elsa and a trucking company, and I've had several people call me and ask me if I could block the entrance of the town so that he can't come because it's been over a year and now he wants to come when it's election time. Allison says uh, he's lost tens of thousands of dollars since February 3rd after his tenants up and left for good during the vinyl chloride controlled burn. Allison had to decontaminate and renovate his abandoned units. Now, y'all, I get it. You see how sad that was? The lady crying like she was. You see even the dude kind of did like this, and he took his hat off and did this. Some terrible things going on there. They don't want to show y'all the aftermath of this stuff, even to the extent to where they were encouraging the residents of East Palestine to drink the water. Don't believe me, y'all. Go on to YouTube right now and type in East Palestine water. You're going to see what it looks like if you were a kid like me, you know how it is when you saw like an oil spill, like, you know, if there was oil like in your driveway or in the sidewalk and it was water on top of, you can see like the rainbow colors in it. This stuff is being shown on YouTube, but the mainstream media is not going to show you that. And they encourage the people to go back and drink the water. Yeah. But again, based off of these people actions there, they did not want Joe Biden there because he don't care. But let me throw something else in there that's going to kind of piss a lot of folks off, too. Let this have been a city full of black folks. See, this all I'm showing is for, I'm showing y'all the whole overall fairness of it. I told y'all, it does not matter who you are. It does not matter because the elite does not care about who you are when it comes to your color. They are going to treat you like the bastardly citizens they feel that you are because you are second class. This is a town mainly full of white, white, white people. And look how they're being treated. Now, y'all know good and well if that was a city full of black people. Racism. Joe Biden is racist. Joe Biden is racist. But guess what? He's doing everybody the same way. He don't give a good God dang on care about you common bastard American citizens. People of Chicago are complaining about Joe Biden with the migrant crisis. People of New York, Harlem are complaining about Joe Biden with the migrants coming in and him putting them second. Huh? It's all coming out. But you got to understand, it's not Joe Biden per se. It's the ones who are pushing this global, elitist, socialist, communist, fascist type movement on Americans. Period. What y'all going to say? I'm talking about to the one thing, white people don't never get treated like this. I bet if they was white, they wouldn't. What you going to say about this? It's completely heartbreaking to see all this stuff going on in these cities. And uh, Flint, Michigan? Hello? What about that? See, that's what I'm saying. I told y'all that the reason why you're not going to hear a lot about this is because it's going to go under the radar because some new event is going to happen that's going to overshadow all that other stuff. East Palestine is America. Maui, Hawaii is America. What are they doing for America? Oh, we're going to send, we're going to try to get $60 billion sent over to Ukraine because they really need to help their borders. When people like this in these cities and these towns and stuff, oh, we're going to let these migrants come in and these illegals come in. We're going to give them free health care. We're going to give them spending cards. But the people of uh, uh, East Palestine, screw y'all. We're not giving y'all nothing. Y'all should know better for some way. Wouldn't it almost be better if these people just went to like a freaking migrant shelter and just d- d- just make up, make up a land? Don't even, don't even speak and just go in there. I, I, I love America. Help, I need. Help, I need. Go in there and fake it. Then you might get the health benefits you deserve. It's absolutely crazy. This is how they are treating American people. But what I want to drive home is this. I keep telling folks over and over and over and over again. The ones who we consider to be the globalists. 
when we talk, who were they? I'm talking about the Schwabs and the Gates. I'm talking about the Rothschild and the Rockefellers and all those big old huge multi-billion George Soros them type family members and all of them way up there. They want these things to be created for a specific reason because you can capital you can capitalize off a of war. You can capitalize off of divisive stuff like trying to separate us based off our skin color. You can capitalize off a of trend. I can go into each one of those topics, y'all, but I don't really want to, but I can just give y'all a rundown quickly because I speak really fast, as y'all know. Well, how is it through race? You make money off of racism. How? Because if you keep black and white people divided, then all of a sudden these organizations form, this organization form, and then the money can be laundered into these different things like that, coming from places like George Soros and all that. For instance, Black Lives Matter, where did, those, where did, that, where did that money go? Huh? Where did it go? Where did it go? It didn't go towards black people, did it? Absolutely not. As of right now, all the millions upon millions upon millions of dollars that Black Lives Matter made, and we're hearing about this migrant crisis right now. We talk about, where well, those homeless black people in Chicago. Home, and Black Lives Matter made enough money. They could have helped every, well, not, I'm going to say every last one of them. They could have helped a great number of people in these cities. But what did they do with it? Nothing. Who capitalized off that money? Where did it go? Follow the money. I guarantee you're going to find it going right back to the ones that actually kind of put this stuff in place. They capitalize off of, well, what about the trans movement talk? What about that? Why do you think they're pushing these young folks to go and get their penises chopped off and their vajayjays sucked out and everything, putting fake penises down and getting their memory glands taken out and putting a chest there and all that? Why do you think they're pushing this movement? Who capitalizing off of that time? The medical world is. I've been in this thing for 20-some plus years, and as of I have not in my life. People can go in there right now and say, I want to have this done to my face. I want to have that done. Well, your insurance is not going to cover it. Why? Because that's considered cosmetic. But a kid can go in there. I know y'all going to feel like I'm a little boy anymore. I want to be a goyle. Okay, we're going to chop your dingling and suck your balls out. Take them completely out. A little girl going there, I don't think I'm a goyo. I want to be like Captain America. Okay, well, we're getting ready to give her a hysterectomy and everything and put a fake penis right there while taking, getting rid of her memory glands and everything so she won't have breasts. That's not cosmetic, though. That's a medical necessity. You see what I'm saying? And then money is being made off of that. And then it goes even further for the ones that want to, they're going to have to be on, be on these hormone blockers and puberty blockers and all that. And even if they do change their mind and want to get off those things, if they didn't have gender reassignment done to themselves, they're going to end up having to wean themselves off of that. And then the psychotropic medicine got to kick and everything like that. They most likely, they're, they're, they're self unaliving rate if y'all follow me the self unaliving rate it increases after they had these assignments reassignments done to themselves it increases so now what we got to do we got to put them on antidepressants that these antidepressants says one of the side effects is that it in, it increases your self deletion attempts make it make sense who's capitalizing off of that the medical world is the psychiatrists them are it's not about you it's not about helping you it's about using you to make money off of you Plain and simple. War, they make money. Y'all, y'all, y'all should know already by now how they make money off of the war. So all those things I just explained to you, but then people like this in East Palestine, no money for them. Maui, Hawaii, no money for them. And these are Americans. But we want to send billions of dollars to Ukraine, and we also want to send something to Taiwan and all this. We want, that's what we want to do. That's, that's what we want to do. Make it make sense. I don't care who it is. If it was up to me, and look, I like certain individuals that are in politics i'm talking about your congressmen and your senators it's certain individuals that i, I like i'm not going to tell you who they are just let, let me just throw this in there just to say this my point is saying all that if it was up to me and if i was to have a vote with you the american people and we were able to get some type of huge petition thing going to where i'm going to just pretty much invoke something in legislation say we want to get rid of all of y'all and just start over with a clean slate i'm almost sure that almost the majority of all Americans in America would agree with me. Yes, everybody that's on the Republican side, everybody that's on the dang on Democratic side, we just getting rid of all of y'all, and we just getting ready to start over. Especially if you're talking about being about Americans first. Because, honestly, I don't know how you can trust the government system right now. This is just absolutely crazy. Our government system is tainted and is completely corrupt. And the ones who are allowing the corruption to go on, they either bought off or somebody might got something on them. They might got something on them. They, maybe they committed adultery. They got pictures of it. I do not know. But based off of the, even the Republican actions and even the Democratic actions when it comes to taking care of America first, they don't give a good goddamn on care and the stuff is completely corrupt. Prove me otherwise.
There is no reason that we cannot take care of our own veterans, our own homeless, people in East Palestine, people in Mount Hawaii. But we're going to send all this money. Come, you cannot make it make sense to me. For those of you talking, you don't know what you're talking about. Dude, this is what it is. So you're blah, 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 blah. No, no, no. Explain to me and all the other Americans in this comment section in layman's terms how it makes sense to take care of all these other places. And all. I don't care what you're trying to say. Well, Ukraine, if they don't, then Russia. And we sitting here suffering. They might have to bring back the draft. Who going to fight? Some little tutti fruities. That's all in the military. We dancing. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. And I'm a soldier. I'm a soldier. I'm a soldier. Nobody's scared of that. Come on now. Make it make sense. Again, for you to disagree, I don't know what I'm talking about, give me a good explanation in the comic section. Did y'all hit that like button yet, by the way? Hit it right now. So, no, this is like, this should be easy. Easy explained away. What are he visiting for? What's the purpose? Joe Biden came in and showed support uh, after a year. And like the lady said, there's still unexplained sicknesses going on, unexplained nosebleeds. Is this stuff even being addressed? What did he go there for? Oh, oh, election is coming up. And he got to show that he actually cared. You're right. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, to go into those cell phones of y'all's. Let somebody in the contact list and your cell phone know about this channel, even if you just tell one person. It would be greatly appreciated. Hit the subscribe button if it's your first time watching and check out all the different things I do on the channel. I gave you that rundown in the intro. Go to playlist, check out what I do, all right? Get an idea of what I am overall, okay? Let me hear it, folks. Leave it in the comment section. Let's go. I am Ty Smith, Model Renaissance Man, hoping and praying that every last one of you have food, shelter, and clothing. And most of all, I pray every last one of you guys are in great health mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. God bless you all. What's going on, everybody? So, hey, check this out. I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate you taking time out of your day to view these videos. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also, right here is where you can catch the next video, the latest video that I've done. But, like, right up here, this is stuff that I've done kind of in the past. So, in this area, you might find a video that I've done in the past. It can be funny. It can be something serious. It does not matter. But this is something that you can also do to check out more material that I do in my channel because I do a lot in this channel, all right? So, again, appreciate everything from you guys. Keep on watching it. Keep on supporting it. And God bless you all.